Don't pull your shoulders against your parents. It's a cause. Don't put your trousers below your buttock. What did you pay? I'll pay you all. Your school fees will pay. Eh. If so, corset is father or his mother. Islam shall be put out in obscure darkness. You're just going to obscure it straight. Proverbs 2020. Don't do yanga to your parents in the name of I just came out from America. Some folks are struggling today because they are using their being outside to disconnect from their parents. They walk and walk and nothing works. the venison such as I love that my soul may bless thee before I die. You honor them with what adds value to them and their soul pours out a blessing in response. It's not about what you have, it's about where your heart is. Let honor begin from there. That's where it begins from. To get home as a student and tell your parents, just to let you know how much I appreciate you for spending this much on me for my life. I thank you for all your labor. Are you following? They say, come my son. Be blessed. Something jumps out of them for acknowledging their role in your life. Something jumps out of them. I used to tell our students when they are graduating, write a letter to your parents. And if you have the means, buy a pair of bedroom slippers so they can use that for, to go to a bedroom. Say, I just brought it for you. It will be quite some blessing as you go into the bedroom for a shower. Just do something. Do something that portrays honor. Honor from the heart. Don't sit down at home as a young lady. Your mother is cooking. Is my food ready? Come and eat it. You sit down at home, sir. For six months, you are looking for your job. Your father has a business. You don't have any part to play there. Your mother has a business. You don't have anything to play there. We are chatting. <laughs> Things tough. <laughs> My God. I mean, I, I will leave this country any time. Either by road or by ship. <laughs> and the hardship is self cost It's self cost in your house. Somebody's story is changing. Without genuine honor to your parents, you have lost honor in your life. It is the seed you sow that you reap. Honor. I was moved by God growing up as a little a young man, and I was led to buy some little furniture for my grandmother. The whole sum was 24 naira. That is some two seats and one uh, central table. That was a lot of money. You brought this for me? I said, yes, ma'am. You will be great. He <laughs> jumped out of her intestine. I was 20 years old. You better know where the blessings lie and connect. You are eating with 10 fingers. Your parents are struggling to find what to eat next. Can I have a firm non-alcoholic wine? <laughs> Even the well in your company, the village is not working. The well, the well where they are drinking water that is not pure. It's not working. Can you serve them, please? I mean, I have some guests here. Serve them snacks. 
the office is like a, a restaurant. Nobody eats in my office. Except to cough, they won't give you anything. <laughs> it's not a restaurant. We have so many restaurants here. You just go. Amen. Life! He wasted his substance on riotous living, and afterwards it began to be in want. Somebody said to me, I thank God my parents have died. There are people they left behind. <laughs> you can't kill all of them at the same time. <laughs> there are people they left behind. You can't kill them at the same time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> In fact, you need to repent, even if they are dead. Repent of your dishonor. Why they lived. Amen. <laughs> Repent. It has gone so bad today that parents pass on to glory. Children won't come. Why? No flight ticket. <laughs> well, then what are you doing there? No, you can't, you can't put them together. It's gross dishonor. Gross. Gross dishonor. That they are burying your father on social media for you to watch. Somebody is free. Yeah. You are that individual. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Everybody needs parental blessings. Everybody needs it. No matter the anointing you carry, it will be a substitute. Everybody needs it. Now, let me tell you the game of the hour. There are some disconnect devices of the devil in these last days to rob us of these avenues of blessings. We have them listed out in 2 Timothy chapter 3. They are all devices of the devil, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. He said, let Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. He's full of subtlety. He can deceive anybody. A disconnect from these sources will limit the worth of our life in several ways. One among the things listed there is a perilous time shall come, troublesome time shall come, turbulent time shall come, because men shall be lovers of their own selves. Nobody else matters. I can approve God directly. There's a people here in Judges chapter 18. And verse 7 to 10. Judges 18, 7 to 10. They saw a people here that dwelt carelessly after the man of the Zerunians quiet and secure. There was no magistrate in the land that might put any of them to shame in anything, and they were far from the Zerunians and had no business with any man. So they were easy to invade. There was no connections. They were easy to invade. They invaded Laish and turned the name of the city to Dan. They were written off permanently because they dwelt carelessly and had no business with any man. You go to verse 27 of it. They had no business with any man. Nobody to rise to help them. So they lost their heritage permanently. They lost it permanently. The Danites took over the place and changed the name of the city after overrunning them. The people dwelt careless. 
No business with any man. They are lovers of their own selves. Lovers of their own self. Me, me, a rich fool. I will build. I will eat till I die. He didn't want to a wife. Nobody could imagine whether he was married or not. I will eat. I will drink. I have enough to eat and drink myself alone. God said, tonight, people like you should not live here. Tonight, I'm taking your soul from you. They have no business with any man. Some people's parents don't weigh this much to them. No. I had a friend many years ago in the U.S., and I asked him, uh, how are your parents doing? He said, fine. I said, where's your father? Yeah, um, yeah you see, uh, he used to live in this city, but he has moved. I said, your father. <laughs> the trouble of life, people don't know where it is. Sir. You know how they do that diagnosis in the hospital to find out where the disease is? This man cannot specifically where his father was. The father that born him. <laughs> and it was a ministry. There's no Western Bible. You don't say that I'm American. American what? The commandment of the Lord is him. It's the same. There's no Western Bible. You don't honor your parents who are losing honor. These folks, he said, this last day people will love us of their own self. Whatever they want is fine now. What you think about them is nothing. They don't have any business with you. What is different? Are you the only one that trained uh, children in school? What is, uh, what is it about? What, what's, that? what's that? What should you do after all? Should you train me in school? <laughs> you are harassing your parents? Abba. I mean, your children don't harass you. Now, so you find those vices listed, they are determined to disconnect God's people from their channels of blessings. Even people can say, okay, that God said that doesn't matter, I have my mind, I know what I'm doing. God can't force his way on anybody. Papa says so. You just do what you like. What you don't like, you don't do it. They are boasters. Now, proud. Disobedient to parents, unthankful, truth breakers, despisers, heady, high minded. That's how people get disconnected from these channels of blessings. Those vices of the end time just get them disconnected. Some will talk about their parents will be wondering is that your parent or your guardian? Amen. You, you can't pick it. You can't pick or not. That's not you. I'm speaking to all the young men here. You better mind that. You are changing level. Please note. Prophetic blessings are prophetic in nature. God honors it. God ordered it. When you connect with it, God confirms it. May every blessing proclaimed on any of us by our parents find full expression. May the honor that brought the blessing never be disconnected from Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah.